What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets. Hope everybody's having a tremendous weekend. The weather has been incredible in New Jersey. So if you live in this area, get out and about and have some fun. Um, right now is a tremendous time to be a Jets fan. There is, it's just fun, right? Because there's so much energy and enthusiasm and passion for this team. And there's like tangible excitement where you can see what the potential of this team, what they can do. And I mean, obviously you have Hall of Fame weekend with Klecko and Revis. And it's awesome seeing Fireman Ed doing chants and all the fans sharing their pictures from like parties and gatherings. And even the, the ceremony itself, you saw all the green and white all over the place. And even like I, like I run the boardwalk down the Jersey Shore. I never see Jets t-shirts and hats. I see them all the time now. Like, it, like there, there's so much buildup for this season and the excitement is just there. Like I just, you want to get through training camp and preseason healthy. But Sala, while most of the media was out in Canton covering Klecko and Rebus, Dropped a little note yesterday in yesterday's press conference that raised my eyebrow because, you know, if you follow me, you know my concern has been for the last two months, it's a left tackle position. And according to Solid, Dwayne Brown looks like two more weeks he's not going to practice. Now you're looking at late August. And the one thing that I, my concern is this. Now, first of all, Solid always lies about injuries. Second is, say it's two weeks, right? That means he's back in practice. Then he's got to prove he can still play at a high level and handle the rigors of the contact. It's not like, okay, everything is great, full speed ahead, I'm going to go play 17 games. Now, he did play through a serious injury last year, but to me, it's a risky game, man. So, I think right now, if you're a Jets fan, you've got to really hope that Makai Becton continues to improve and gets better because these joint practices are going to be very telling because I don't think anybody wants to see Billy Turner play left tackle. So, Makai Becton's got to keep getting better, get more, get more comfortable in his body, get, get used to his new normal. Play physical because the joint practices are going to, you're going to start telling a lot about your offensive line. And Dwayne Brown not being here is becoming more and more concerning because at what point do you have like a, your plan B becomes plan A, right? So uh, keep an eye on that, man. I'm not, I'm again, I'm not sounding crazy alarms, but left tackle is enormous. And it's just, this timeline is just getting, it's kind of just concerning to me. Second thing is the reviews on Joe Tipman are really cool. I know when the, when the, uh, Depth chart came out and Tipman was number three. We we're all like, what are we doing? Like second round pick. The kid can't beat out Schweitzer. He can't beat out McGovern. We thought he was going to be fighting for the starting spot. So Brian Baldinger did a review of him. was very complimentary of Tipman throughout the preseason game. And that's kind of, I like, I like the Jets handling of him. He's got to earn his way up the chart. You earn your way up the chart by playing well and playing consistently. So he had his first preseason game. He's going to get a lot of work in the joint practices. The next preseason game. And who knows, maybe by the end of camp, he earns that spot. So it's, I know as fans, we get so excited. We want to see things happen instantly. And you, want the, and you have all these instant reactions. First of all, it's the only training camp in preseason. But it's like a lot of these young players got to first, they got to learn the ropes of the NFL. They got to learn the NFL experience, the practice habits, the film study, the offense, the teammates, and then get more comfortable. And as you get more comfortable, you grow into your, your body and your program and the offense. So the Tipman thing is, is interesting. The other thing, Garrett Wilson will be back to practice soon, which is good. And the last note is that so many reporters are saying how good Bam Knight looks as opposed to Michael Carter. So when we have all these conversations about the Dalvin Cook or, like I said, I want a Fournette, but whatever. You know, like, you, it seems like Michael Carter could be the odd man out here. The Jets do go out and pick somebody up. But again, very early. You still got a lot of time. You know, injuries always pop up, too, so you never know what's going to happen there. Um, other than that, uh, I think that's it. We'll be broadcast, uh, broadcasting. We'll be streaming live. Monday night, uh, we'll be streaming the preseason games. Uh, we're all going to the home opener. Everybody keeps asking us. MetLife Stadium, the, the MetLife uh, home opener Monday night against the Bills. We will be there. TailgateJoe.com. We're at, we're at tail, Tailgate Joe's Tailgate. That's where we will be. It's uh, all you can eat and drink. He's got a really reasonable price considering all the things you're getting there. And uh, if you don't want to do that, that's the area we will be. You can park in that area and stop by and say hi. So, uh, that's it. Uh, prime time, we have practice today. So check out uh, at Talk Jets Radio for all the training camp updates and have a good day.